Right now, protesters are gathering around the country, including right here in Metro Detroit. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell joins us now from outside DPD headquarters. And Kim, how are people feeling? What is the mood there now that these charges have been announced? It is a peaceful gathering and people are listening to speeches. They are holding signs and they're happy to hear that those charges were filed, but they say that's just one step in the right direction. They want more. They want a solution to systemic racism. They want policies that make sure this does not happen again. So as you can see here, they are gathering a peaceful gathering preparing to march soon just outside Detroit Public Safety Headquarters. Now, a short time ago, Chief James Craig held a press conference and he said police will enforce the curfew in place to prevent violence under the cover of darkness, the chief says, by potential agitators in the group of mostly peaceful protesters. The chief spoke about how the protest was peaceful for the most part yesterday until police enforced the curfew. The chief says a few people resisted arrest and tear gas had to be used. The chief and a community leader said most problems from their perspective involve non-Detroiters. So at the end, we were able to effectively arrest 127. Basically without incident, some complained of minor injury. Please stay from out of our neighborhoods. Detroiters know how to work together. If we got a problem, we only a half a degree of separation in this city. A half a degree of separation. We ain't two degrees separation in the city of Detroit. We're half a degree. That's the other half. We the west side. Right? The projects, the Jeffrey, everybody, we all talking. That's right. Everybody talking. That's right. We don't want y'all here. That's right. Stay from out of our city. Yesterday, we heard from protesters who did obey the curfew and still demonstrated. We also heard from protesters who said, you know what, this is about civil disobedience, peaceful civil, civil disobedience, and we have a right to free speech, and we don't believe that the curfew is respecting that right, so we feel it's important to take a stand and make sure that our voices are heard whenever we want them to be heard because this is an important issue that needs to be addressed. So here we are in Detroit as the protest continues, and we'll be out here live covering what happens, reporting live. I'm in Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. All right, Kim, thank you. We're going to go 